Hey, my 50 delicious YouTubers. Um, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about um, some keto snacks, keto foods. Uh, people have been asking, oh, how do you stay in shape? How do you do this? How do you do that? Because everybody knows I am a self-proclaimed foodie and I like to eat. But as we age, we have to be mindful of what we put in our mouth. I would be exercising, um, doing all the things that I normally did in my 30s and my 40s. However, when you keep up the same amount of exercise but your body ages, it's a lot harder to lose weight. And I've been um, struggling with that on and off for years. And that's my little dog. Ella, get in the cage. So um, I have been looking for a lifestyle change. And we all know that if you really want lasting results when it comes to your health, when it comes to your weight, when it comes to your looks, when it comes to anything, you have to have something that is consistent that you can sustain for a life. And for me, that was low carb, high fat eating. I'm not a keto expert, I'm not a macros expert, I'm not a low carb expert, I'm not a carb cycling expert. I'm a 50 delicious woman who wanted to have a sustainable lifestyle that would keep the weight off, because I could take the weight off, can keep it off. And that to me, of course, is through exercising, but diet made a huge difference. And for me, that's a low carb, high fat lifestyle. Don't know if I'm going into ketosis, maybe, maybe not, but I know that my body runs differently. It feels differently, it looks different, and it's worked for me and um, has been working um, to keep the weight off from the beginning of 2019 until now when I'm taping, this is July of 2019. This is the longest I've ever sustained any type of satisfactory weight loss, body um, image and size since I turned like late 40s, early 50s. The only time I've ever been able to sustain it is with a low carb lifestyle. So I'm gonna share. Sit back, relax, and take some notes because hopefully I'll be sharing a lot more things about what I eat um, in this food delicious life of mine. Thank you. Enjoying this video? Well, please take the time to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you'll be alerted of all my new videos. Thank you. Today, I want to talk about this right here, right here. Um, there's several of these on the market. Yes, I want to talk about this and this is the company that it's by. Okay. I want to talk about this. There's lots of cauliflower, everything. You see rice cauliflower. I mean, it's like all the rage. Of course, I wanted to try some. This one to me, as far as carbohydrates, let's talk about that. It has, and it's per servings. They say it's six servings per this. I wish this whole thing. Why do people do per servings? Why can't this whole thing be a serving? Cause sometimes I could eat this whole thing. I really could. Uh, you know, he could be like a servant. I'm gonna divide this into six. How about I wanna divide it into two? At least be two servants, because they're not very big. Now I'm taking them out of the package. And you can see they already have a nice little seasoning in it and everything. Nice, 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 nice. It's in the package. And there's two of them. That's how thin they are. Now, if you're a thin crust pizza person, you are absolutely going to love this. Um. The best way to do it, and I've done it both ways, uh, with this particular cauliflower crust, and they say divide this into six. I usually can eat about half of this with like a little salad, and that's good. So half of this, if it's divided into six, you know, two carbs, two carbs per serving, um, you're looking at 12 carbohydrates if you eat the whole thing, or six carbs which is super 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 low so this is really good even though i was complaining this is really 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 good so half of this is only 12 net carbs which is fantastic and it tastes really good too so what i do is i take this i bake it first 
like it says you bake it and I think that makes it just a little bit more it's not cracker crust like it's not crunchy and flaky like that it's more um, more of a um, chewy um, consistency but if you bake it really good first then when you bake it for the amount of time that it says which it says to bake for don't have my glasses on oh 10 to 12 minutes then you come back and you put your toppings on here and I used um, I, I cooked two at once since there was two in the package I didn't realize there was two in the package I cooked both of mine at once on just a big old um, cookie sheet and I'll post a picture of that one I did with like a cheddar another one I did with like a mozzarella blue cheese mix I didn't um, use any meat the first couple of times that I cooked it but it was delicious now this is the this is the spicy jalapeno version um, and I like spicy food this was spicy I, I'm, I'm saying this was spicy they have other versions I'm gonna try just a plain version because they say you can make enchiladas with this crust and just all types of stuff not just pizza so first 10 to 12 minutes bake the crust come back put the um, toppings on it anything you want I piled it on spinach cheese um, I put basil oregano all different kinds of seasoning different kinds of cheeses and it tastes so decadent one if you can eat cheese if you can't eat dairy so decadent so good oh my I can't wait to try other stuff with it so I can't say enough about this um, cauliflower pizza crust that is one way that I can enjoy pizza with a ton of stuff on it that is also low carb and um, eat it real good eat it real good eat it real good um, yeah I did eat it real good too it was real good and I ate it again these low carb cauliflower pizza crust is something that i use and eat that i have just fallen in love with there's so many other low carb options out there but i just wanted to review this because that's something you can go buy and pick up and bring home and um, really get that decadent foodie desire on um, when you feel like you're cheating but you're not cheating those are the types of things i do for my life